Hey, this is the 10th update to Mirgloff Builds, and the main subject of this video is about uh, talk, talking about the next month or so in which I'm going to be taking a break from making any videos, and the reason behind that is I'm going to be moving into a new place, so I need about, I would say, a month, well not really a month, uh, about a week or so. I don't know for sure yet if uh, and we're going to be moving into the place I'm planning on moving in now, but I'm definitely moving from where I am at this moment. And uh, it'll probably take me a week or two to get that settled. Then the corresponding uh, next couple weeks is just to get a few other things sorted out, as well as beginning uh, preparing for what I'm going to be calling the next series, the Series 2 of Mirgloff Builds. And uh, really, the, there's going to be pretty big changes, actually. Uh, my plan is to uh, buy a desktop PC. I, I never really specifically mentioned it, but I uh, make these videos on a gaming laptop that I have. And... I don't have any issues at all with my gaming laptop, but uh, the reason why I'm going to be buying a desktop is so that I can have a secondary Minecraft account, which I'm going to make, uh, make my builds using a secondary Minecraft account for a third-person view of me building. And uh, I really believe this is going to be an improvement to these videos. I'm pretty sure one of the top reasons why you know my videos don't get quite as much uh, love as I kind of feel that they should, although I don't feel as though they're worth thousands of views. But uh, most people don't like first-person time lapses, as it's one of those things that can very easily cause motion sickness. And to be honest, it took me a real long time to realize that. Most people probably don't like that. Although obviously uh, those of you who have stuck with my videos don't seem to mind it. But uh, what this means though is it's going to be higher quality videos. And I can make, uh, I can make larger builds such as the uh, grand form here in a compressed into shorter videos. The reason behind that is, is uh, the normal speed that I use for the time lapse of my videos is uh, eight time eight times as fast as the occurring time. Look at what the Endermen have done to this place. And uh, I won for one video, and I believe that was Fort Adragus. I accidentally set it to uh, 16 times speed, and uh, I did get a couple of complaints that that was too motion sick inducing. But uh, from a third person view, the uh, the camera position is going to be stationary, which means uh, I can pretty much speed up the time lapse as much as I can, or as much as I want to, without any kind of motion sickness effects. And uh, that is that. Now the uh, next thing that I want to uh, talk about here is uh, changes in the plans of the hiatus. Originally I said that I was going on a business trip and I was going to be gone to uh, three to five months. Now what this was about was not so much really a business trip. I just called it a business trip to be uh, uh, sort of anonymous, not too personal and maybe a little bit mysterious. But what it was was I was planning on joining the Army, the National Guard, and this meant that I would be getting a uh, sign-up bonus as well as uh, taking the time off to uh, do basic training. Now, as, uh, as I went deeper into the process of uh, starting my, uh, uh, my signing up for the National Guard, there were a few changes in what I initially uh, appealed to me about joining the Army and the National Guard. 
Uh, oh crap, I'm trapped. Uh, originally, I was uh, drawn in by a, uh, a sign-up bonus and other additional bonuses that you can accrue were larger than what I eventually found out were. Originally, I was looking at just a, uh, I would say, say about like $20,000 uh, in, in accrued uh, sign-up bonuses in addition to uh, uh, the time the time and pay for the uh, the basic training and the uh, there's also other benefits such as uh, allowances for rent and food which uh, added up to be what I thought was going to be a very nice sum of uh, cash but as it turns out uh, in order to get those bonuses I would have to sign up as a combat engineer and serve at least a year in Kuwait. And at first that seemed like it was uh, acceptable to me, but the, uh, the more I read about it and really thought about it, now I would be signed up for the army for a minimum of five years and the time spent in Kuwait would be a minimum of uh, one year. But realistically speaking, most people uh, end up staying quite a bit longer than that. Also, the uh, job of a combat engineer is... Uh, my, my initial uh, impression was that it was going to be just fixing things and building things, and of which uh, combat engineers do. But there is still a highly involved infantry role that combat engineers serve, as well as uh, the main defining uh, tasks that combat engineers have is that they search out and detect IEDs and also occasionally clear minefields. And at that point I reviewed the, uh, the amount of uh, money that I'd be getting for this job and compared it to the time I would have, the loss of free time, the risks involved, and it wasn't worth it to me. So I'm not going to be joining any army or national guard. Certainly not in the foreseeable future. So that was what my initial hiatus was about, but now uh, it's just going to be a month long for me to move and get some stuff taken care of. I should be back with really awesome videos in about a month's time. Now, as far as of what I'm going to do next in uh, Thelonia, is in between uh, the hiatus and when I start uploading videos again, I'm going to uh, do a lot of off-camera work clearing this area. There's going to be various tiers of height. Uh, there's going to be this level up here and then the slightly higher level over there and uh, that's different. and uh, there's going to be more residential districts or blocks I was planning on putting a lot more residential over here there's also going to be a uh, couple of government buildings over here one sort of uh, building here which is to serve as sort of a uh, not really an embassy, but a place for uh, the representatives of other uh, towns and uh, cities in the Sand Nation. They would uh, use the facilities here to rest as they're visiting to cast ballots, as well as the main government building for uh, the city of Thelonia and the Sand Nation. Uh, those are the two major builds I've got planned. Other than that, just the usual uh, make it up as I go kind of stuff. And I've also got a lot of uh, a lot of subscriber monuments to build, but that's uh, I'm probably never going to actually catch up to those. But I'm still going to keep on going, uh, continue to build them for uh, people as they subscribe, usually by chronological order. But also if uh, people make any requests or have a really uh, topical uh, 
YouTube account name that I can use to build something, sort of like how uh, I built a pixel art lollipop for Epic Lollipop. Makes it easy easier for me to come up with an idea for a monument. And of course there's uh, going to be new music, all Creative Commons. Of course, uh, usually I actually find these uh, all the music I use on uh, jamendo.com or org, whatever it is. And uh, a sample of which was used in the 100th video. And so far I like their music. It's really worth checking them out. Some of them are already popular, but uh, most of them only have uh, a few hundred hits. And also worth mentioning, uh, again, is the uh, Facebook fan page for Mergloff Builds that uh, I believe it was New Ted Trance set that up on Facebook. And what I'm going to try and do in the Mergloff Builds Series 2 is uh, some additional content uh, stuff that... Uh, uh, it's hard to explain this. Uh, basically, I'd be making private videos, and these aren't going to be things like uh, uh, buildings that I built like I normally build, and only for people who check the Facebook fan page. What this is is going to be basically me posting sort of, sort of like these update videos, but more topical in the sense of... Uh, Supposing uh, I do whenever I get the uh, the server set up so that uh, uh, you might you the viewers can log onto the server and sort of build in this world map as well and sort of explore it yourselves and participate, I'd be uh, posting videos of other buildings that people would create and there's going to be a lot of videos like that posted and the Something that I think most everyone hates about uh, gaming channels on YouTube is how spammy they can get with uh, when they're posting videos for several series, several different games, all in one day. So I'll be I'll have an official use for Mirgoff Builds uh, fan page in a capacity that serves as a community purpose, if that makes sense. That might have been a little bit hard to understand, as I have a, sometimes have a difficulty articulating that stuff. Anyways, uh, since I mentioned the uh, the server, there isn't any new there isn't any news about uh, setting up a server for the Mirgoth builds. Uh, right now, I kind of hope to. Uh, use borrow some space on the BGSF server uh, I don't own that server I don't have any really authority on that server and uh, I think uh, I can get Mr. Tank Jump and Bone Monster to agree to let me use some space to create a to, up, to put this world up as a place where people can log in and uh, some of the people from the BGSF uh, server have expressed interest in building on in this world. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Like I said, there's no progress on it. I have to talk to Mr. Tank Chump, and that's going to be one of the things I'm going to be doing during my one-month break. Uh, I may end up having to set up my own server. Uh, myself, uh, the issue with that is that I have no technical knowledge on how to run a server, and I know it's not too hard, but uh, and the point of uh, borrowing the server space on the BGSF server is that Mr. Tank Jump is a, uh, well, he's not, he's kind of modest about his abil his technical abilities, and coding and all that stuff, but he's, he runs the BGSF server very adequately, and uh, with borrowing space on there, I could get him, hopefully, to show me a few things. Otherwise, uh, 
starting my own server, I would I'd be able to look up and research everything I need to know, but it's going to be a higher learning curve teaching myself. And uh, the biggest issue would be installing plugins. There would be a couple of plugins, such as uh, a SMP uh, version of Tree Capitator, as well as uh, hopefully MCMMO, or I hope I said that right. Uh, I know, uh, I think a couple of people, when I mentioned starting a server before, offered to run the server for me. And while that that is appreciated offer, the, the issue that there is with having uh, fans run the world is, well, there's a few issues, and I don't really want to sound like a jerk about it. And I, and should uh, this whole server thing become a reality, I won't be a jerk about it, but I do need to maintain uh, entire control of what is and isn't built on uh, on the world as it is part of uh, my series. Now that doesn't mean if I if aesthetically something looks like crap to me that someone else built, that doesn't mean I would say, I think this looks dumb, I don't want you to build it here, so I'm going to destroy it. Uh, mainly what it means is I, I obviously don't want people building giant uh, block penises there's also issues with uh, theme. Uh, for example, this continent, which uh, I'm building the Sand Cities, the Sand Nation Cities. Uh, I just I said I just said cities. I meant to say cities. I have a speech impediment. Anyways, uh, the Sand Nation controls pretty much all of the continent that uh, their nation, their kingdom lays upon and I would that would be a theme that I would enforce as a uh, as an admin and owner of a server which this world would be on I wouldn't want anyone to build any other miscellaneous towns or cities that uh, that aren't sand nation cities and uh, other than that, I wouldn't be strict at all, but I do need to be able to maintain complete control of the server. And I would have that ability to the, uh, the extent that I require borrowing space on the BGSF server. But borrowing anyone else's server, even if they're a fan of the series, there's that issue. And there's also the issues of potential... I don't know drama of uh, how griefing is handled and all that kind of other stuff. It's a it's a human element that needs to be taken into consideration. But uh, that's the two ways that uh, making this world a server would take place: either me borrowing space on the BGSF server, or uh, me paying for my own server. And I would be paying, uh, well, I, I currently do donate to keep the uh, the BGSF server running. But anyways, I'm pretty sure I covered everything that I wanted to cover in this update video. I'm pretty sure I've probably been rambling for about 20 minutes. So I'm going to end the video here. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you in a month or so.